thanks Aisha and Andy. I'm here at the 2012 Arts Activated Conference. So what's the significance of this um, conference to arts and Australia? This provides the critical mass. A conference provides an opportunity to showcase the topics, the people and the critical mass working in a sphere. And our sphere, our sector is arts and disability. So Catherine, welcome to the show. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Um, I work as an arts and disability consultant and I'm also an artist. And um, one of the things I really enjoy doing at the moment is working with um, young people with disability, teaching drama and new technology skills. So tell me more about the Accessible Arts. So Accessible Arts is an advocacy organisation that supports the access for disabled um, people to the arts and also supports the work of people who aspire to be professional artists who have a disability. This conference is a biennial conference that Accessible Arts uh, presents and we've brought together people from all over Australia. There are more than 300 people uh, um, participating, many with a disability, so it's a very important event for the arts and for disability in Australia. Yeah, for 20 years now I've been charting and working out um, what disability culture looks like, you know, what are the kinds of things that disabled artists are facing when they think about how to create artful representations. I want people to think about the, the heft and the depth of disabled culture. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in all expressions by disabled people, all the crea creative expressions that people with disability have put out, but I'm particularly interested in those presentations that allow us to get a sense of the the, um, the richness of experience, you know, the, not just a celebration, not just pride, not just disabled culture is great, but also something about the, the depth of our experiences, the complexity of our experiences as we come from so many different cultural backgrounds. Very diverse, very diverse. Very diverse yeah. and how all of that translates itself in this rich and contemporary new formation, disability culture. I think the key point uh, about uh, disability is that the main reason that people with disability are excluded from participation in society is because of the attitude of society uh, generally. Society in Australia has a, a quite limiting and quite negative view of disability and we need to challenge that and change it um, because uh, people with disability want to be able to make a contribution to society in a whole range of areas, employment, education, etc, uh, etc, et particularly uh, in arts activities. Do you think this exhibition portrays what's the main message that they're getting out there by having this exhibition? Yeah, well, I'm, I think the main message is just that, you know, there's a heap of really great art that's being produced by people who happen to be living with disability of some sort. You know, I mean, the, the great thing about art in general is that it's something that, that speaks from any kind of position. So, um, and, and it's one of those things with visual art where Often people who are unable or find it difficult to communicate in, in verbal ways, in a visual way, can communicate themselves. really strongly. So, but in general, I think it's just that mixture that, um, you know, here's a group of work by people who in some way are, are, are living with disability. Um, and it's just fantastic quality, just like any other work that you see anywhere else. So ladies, tell me how you're finding the conference today. It's been quite interesting, that last session that we were just in there. was um, There was a bit of a performance initially and then a panel uh, discussion about disclosure. And so that was quite interesting and quite informative. I found it was really valuable, the session on captioning. And that's a great thing for, uh, for, for venues to have a look at in terms of how they can make their productions more accessible for anyone to be able to sit anyone in the auditorium and to be able to hear the, uh, um, be able to, to find out what, um, what's being talked about and presented on the stage. I'm here with Amanda Kasha who's a PhD student and she flew all the way from San Diego to be here today. Welcome to the show. What is the message you want to um, get out there with your exhibition? I'm interested in trying to create opportunities for an audience when they come into a, a museum or a gallery to think more deeply about what disability means because often we might go to a museum and disability is usually about access, like the physical access of a space. But what about uh, the experience of disability seen in a work of art and how can that change our stereotypes, as you yeah, mentioned? Change our opinions And our as opinions, well. exactly. Yeah. And to move beyond this sort of the binary of or what is normal or what is abnormal, what is 
ability as opposed to disability. So I'm not trying to challenge people in their ideas yeah. when they come and look at this artwork. I want to know, how do you think art can change the world? Well, I think, you know, art is, art is all around us the whole time and I think you know, the more people there are feeding into that process, you know, in, on all levels of that process, from being the actual artists to being the audiences to being the arts managers, you know, we can change the world. I mean, you see the sort of difference that art has made to our lives every day. I think when it comes to disability, it's really interesting because, you know, throughout time, disabled people have been, you know, looked at and stared at and been part of arts, you know, the, the subject of the gaze, you might say. But we haven't always been officially recognised as being the artists, the cultural producers and so forth. And I think that's the transition that we're in at the moment. We're no longer just here to be stared at. We want to be really active in the process. My favourite part is seeing everybody connecting, people meeting old friends and new friends and talking about new exciting projects and or seeing presentations that make them think in new and different ways. I found it one of the best organised conferences I've been to in terms of the phenomenal guest speakers, such a variety and such professionalism among the speakers. So it's been, um, I've been to many conferences and I've met and heard more new ideas here than many other places, so it's been great. What an amazing and inspiring event this has been. I've met people from all over the world with inspiring stories to tell. And what I've learnt is that people with disability have a vital contribution to the arts. So if you want to find out more, check out aarts.net.au. This is Marissa signing off for Chatterbox.